Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in the car! Wee! Yep, me and this old raggedy b still kicking it. <laughs> Some updates, one of my speakers blew out. Wah, wah. Okay, before we go any further, I wanna say this video is sponsored by Karma, which is an app or a Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. Link in the description to download, but I'll have more on that in a minute. Let's see, any other updates? Oh, oh, a piece of my car flew off the other day. <laughs> yeah, I was just driving the other day and like the little metal strip that's like right here on the back just flew off on the highway. Oops. <laughs> Whatever. We don't need her anyways. Not a very important part of the car if you ask me. Anything else? Let's see. Yeah, I think that's about everything new that's broken. <laughs> the fun thing about having a legally totaled car is when things break, the value of the car does not go down because it's already worth nothing. <laughs> no sweat off my back. Anyways, the reason I'm in my car is because today I'm doing another fast food vegan taste test, chicken edition. I am very excited about this one because there's a few that I didn't even know about. You know, KFC just launched their new Beyond chicken thing. Not sponsored by KFC or Beyond. Contact info below though. <laughs> also, Panda Express has a vegan orange chicken. I remember being a kid and when I did eat meat, um, the little mall chicken samples were crazy every time. All right, we're gonna get into it, but first, thanks again to Karma for sponsoring today's video. You may have heard me talk about them before, but if you don't know, Karma is an app and a Chrome extension that is constantly scanning the web behind the scenes to look for coupon codes or price drops and more. You know, things to help you save money while shopping. I've used Karma to score quite a few deals in my time. You know this guy, our beloved little little portable cooktop here in my kitchen. This is one of the first times I used Karma when I was shopping for a portable stove. I had a few saved, but then one day, this one randomly went on sale and I got it for like 50% off. And it wasn't a holiday or anything, so it wasn't like an official sale that I would have known of. But I was using Karma and it randomly dropped in price one weekend, so the app notified me and I got it. It also really came in clutch during this past like holiday shopping period. I was buying a sweater from Urban Outfitters and then remembered Karma's cash back program. And with one click, boom, I got some money back in my pocket. Also, when it comes to food, especially the things I regularly buy in bulk, like nuts or powders, like vital wheat gluten, if I want to make my own vegan chicken. I like using Karma to track those kinds of things because I'm always buying them. And if they ever randomly go on sale, Karma notifies me and that's when I'll stock up. It's really easy to use. You just go to the Karma site or on the Chrome web store, you can download the Chrome extension. Just a couple of taps and then you can go to any of your favorite stores. Literally any site you want to shop at, you can track items, save things you're interested in. And then you can get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, comes back in stock, or has a relevant coupon code. You can also save your items into different multiple wish lists, which is a really great way to stay organized. Like I was saying, I have a list just for those bulk items that I'm always buying. Another great feature is when you're checking out, Karma will scan the web for any relevant coupon codes and then apply them to your cart automatically. And this is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the Chrome extension is a must. And like I was saying, they have a little cash back program. When you shop from select retail partners, Karma Karma allows you to earn some of that cash back and they now donate some of that to a good cause. So guys, if you do any online shopping, which I'm sure you do, definitely check out Karma. With the link below, you guys can download the free Karma Chrome extension and get to saving some money. Alrighty, thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring this video and thanks to you all for hearing them out. You know, it helps you, it helps me, it's a win-win. Alrighty, thank you guys for hearing them out. Maybe I'll be able to buy a new car this year. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try this chicken. First up, KFC. So KFC just launched their new Beyond Chicken Nuggets or whatever. This is not sponsored by either of them. I know we might look the same, but I am not Liza Koshy, but I am very curious to try them. Did y'all see her flying, grabbing the chicken? Wow, that's about be me. All right, let's go. I am very excited for this. I hope it's good. I have never had a fast food fried chicken before. I'm excited to see like what's going on with this breading. Oh, just to like get ahead of any comments, I think they're cooked in the same fryer as the normal chicken. However, I personally don't care. Neither does PETA for what that's worth. <laughs> and I don't think the animals care either. It's not hurting them. In fact, I think it hurts them more to make a big fuss about it. I think they just have chicken nuggets. I'm not sure. We'll see when we get there. But I would love a chicken finger. Haven't had one of those in a hot minute. All right, I'll see you when we're there. All righty, I have arrived to KFC. Pulling in the drive-thru. Wow, guys, filming these videos, I'm starting to get some mad deja vu. <laughs> this one street has like 10 different fast food restaurants. So I'm always in this area when I film these videos and wow, the vibes are dark. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling up to the drive-thru. Oh, I drove past it. I drove, okay, oops, my bad. 
Hey, sorry, I, I drove past it. Um, Could I just get a six piece Beyond Fried Chicken? And that's all. All right, that's what I want to thank you. All right, thank you. Order. Beyond Nuggets? Yes, thank you I'm so much. Yeah, you too. All righty, folks, we got the goods. Let me just find a place to park. All righty, I got it. KFC, my first time ordering something other than fries. It smells like miscellaneous fast food greasiness. <laughs> you know that smell? Oh, my window's down. Oh, all my windows are down. Okay. Wow, me trying to go through that drive-thru? Hot mess. All right, we have them here. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> that looks pretty good. The crust looks delicious. All righty, KFC vegan chicken nuggets. Let's give it a try. Just smells like oil. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Hello? Oh my god, this shit is crumbly as hell. Okay, first impression, it's kind of dry. It's like a little dry. All right, let's just try a different one. You know. Fuck. Why is it so crumbly? All right, I'm gonna be honest, I'm enjoying the experience, but I did kind of expect this to be a little better. All right, let's try it with some ketchup. Huh. Yeah, once again, it's just kind of dry. I'm really crumbly. It's definitely not the best vegan chicken nugget I've ever had, I will say that. Um, okay, hold on. I need to, like, stand up. There's crumbs, like, all over me. All right, look, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as good as I thought it would be. I really thought it would be a little better. I'm wondering if it's just this location, like, just this one instance, just this order. Because I feel like I've had Beyond Chicken Nuggets, like, do they sell them in the freezer aisle? I don't know. Didn't Beyond start with chicken, like, six years ago? Yeah. Really interesting. I mean, okay. If I'm, like, getting fast food, like, if I'm at KFC for any other reason other than filming one of these videos, which I don't think I have ever been to KFC. <laughs> if not in one of these videos. But, like, if I was on a road trip with some friends or something, or, like, I'm with people and they're getting KFC for some reason, this shit would be a godsend. Like, having this as an option instead of just fries, frankly, makes up for what it lacks in tastes. Like, oh my god, if I was a little drunk, <laughs> fuck, that would go so hard. Maybe I should have tried it with KFC's secret sauce. He asked about if I wanted that, and I, did, I said no, because I was scared. <laughs> but I wonder if that's, like, you know, the... Mwah, mwah, the chef-recommended pairing. <laughs> but, all right, I'll give these, like, a... I don't know, like, a six and a half out of ten? Maybe a seven? If I was drunk and it was ten o'clock at night? Solid eight and a half. <laughs> but, all right, now we know. It's good. I thought it would be better. Honestly, what I want is a chicken sandwich. Like, the whole chicken sandwich war that was going on. I'm ready for the vegan chicken sandwich war. Bring it to me. All right, so I should have gotten more napkins because I feel like I'm covered in oil. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little surprised. Like, I feel like it could be a lot better very easily. But there we have it. KFC Beyond Chicken. I almost feel bad. I'm feeling like, <laughs> Beyond Meat, don't hate me. I love you. Well, please sponsor me. <laughs> Let's blame KFC. All right, where's my phone? Anyways, well, there's that. All right. Next up, I'm gonna try El Pollo Loco. I did not know this, but last year they launched a new chickenless pollo that you can get in burritos and tacos. Let's go. This should be interesting. Let's see how it compares to Beyond. Don't have to drive far because for some reason, this is like a little fast food village. They have everything. All right, I have arrived. Let's see, do they have a drive through They do, okay. I wonder what the vegan chicken's made out of. I didn't even look it up. <laughs> All right, let's see. I hope we're today. What are for you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Thank you. What can I get for you today? Um, do you guys have the vegan chicken? No. No, you don't? No, sorry. Oh, okay. All good. Thank you. Okay, am I mistaken? Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Great. Now I'm stuck in the drive through line. Cool. They don't have it. All right. I thought they did. All right, let me try like an online order to see where this is available. Oh my gosh, I'm not seeing it. Did they cancel it? I'm gonna search on Twitter. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm just the dumbass. Oh no, okay, I'm seeing some tweets. Okay, I see a tweet from November. Someone said they went to El Pollo Loco and found out they canceled it. Oh, fuck, I wanted to try it. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna call one. Hey, do you guys still have the vegan chickenless pollo? No, I don't have any more. No, gotcha. All right, thank you. Bye. Damn it. Oh. oh, well. Okay, I've been looking online for like 10 minutes and it seems like it was canceled. And it's not showing up on any of the like online order menus. All right. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> I literally just read an article that was posted like a, a week ago. And that's how I found out about this, but it's not available. I was lied to. Oh shit, okay, I was really counting on putting El Pollo Loco's logo into the 
thumbnail. I <laughs> don't know what I'm gonna do now. On to the next. Next up, I am so excited for this one. Panda Express. Yes, apparently Panda Express has a vegan orange chicken option. Apparently they've had this. I did not know about that. However, growing up when I was a kid and I did eat meat, I remember like mall chicken, just like, oh my gosh, the little samples they'd hand out as you're walking through the food court. I remember just absolutely being obsessed. So I'm hoping this will offer like a similar vibe. All right, Panda Express, where is one? All right, let's go. Oh, mm, that's a car. All right, slow it down. <laughs> Hello, are you honking at me? Did I, did I leave my phone on the back of my car again? Guys, the other day I drove all the way home from Whole Foods with my phone sitting on the top of my trunk. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my Instagram story. I was leaving Whole Foods and I got a parking ticket, so I was like super frazzled. So the guy was riding it. I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. I was talking to him. I was overall just a little distracted. Then I put my groceries in my trunk and I start driving away and I realized I can't find my phone. However, I was still connected to my phone, so I just figured it was like in a crack somewhere. I didn't really care. I'll find it when I get home. You know, still connected to the radio and everything, so I figured it was somewhere in my car. No, it was not in my car. It was on my car. <laughs> Somehow I drove all the way home from Whole Foods, a full like two miles <laughs> with my phone just sitting on my trunk the whole ride home. God bless this little silicone grip for holding her down. So that's a new one. Well, not the leaving the phone and driving off with it still on the car part, but the <laughs> that I have done once before, but it's never stayed on the whole ride. That is a first. Oh God, my psychiatrist is not gonna like that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. These are getting better now that they're cold. No, nah, never mind. I take it back. I think I'm just hungry. Alrighty, I have arrived at Panda Express. It's right there behind me. Well, folks, I just went in. It's not available at this location. I have to drive to Hollywood. Fuck! Oh my god, I really don't want to go to Hollywood right now. Uh, but that's the only place. 36 minutes away. Oh, god. Okay. Ugh, I'm really about to go to the ass crack of Hollywood. At three o'clock, this better be good. Fuck! <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you there, I guess. Oh my god, I really don't want to drive this far. All right, bye. All righty, folks, it's been 35 minutes or so, and I have arrived. I am in Hollywood. It smells like Hollywood. <laughs> okay, and there's no parking. Yes, Hollywood. All right, I found a spot on the other side of the building. <laughs> they don't have a drive through so I'm just gonna order it online for like a pickup so we can have this like ordering moment here together. Man, I don't know if I've ever been to Panda Express if I'm being honest. Like I'm sure I did as a kid, but I have like no emotions or any relationship to Panda. <laughs> so it looks like we can get a plate or a bowl. A bowl is one side and one entree. A plate is one side and two entrees. Okay, I'll just do a bowl. Half steamed rice, half super greens, cause I'm healthy. I and there it is, Beyond Orange Chicken. Oh, I hope this is good. All right, add to order. Damn, this is $8.85. I don't know why I thought it would be less than that. I guess food does cost money, even if it's fast. <laughs> All right, pay, scan face. Confirmed. All right, now I'm gonna wait a sec and then run in and go get it. Will be interesting to see how it compares to the KFC nuggets because they both are by Beyond Meat. I hope this is good. I don't think I've ever had vegan orange chicken, so it's been a long time. Fingers crossed. Alrighty, I have received the chicken. Mm, oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, and frankly looks good too. This is what we're working with. It looks delicious. Oh my God, and it smells so good. Oh my God, bitch. Mm, oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I think this is gonna be so much better than the KFC one. <laughs> oh my God, the way it's sticking together. Ugh. All right, oh my God, oh my God. This smells so good. All right, let's just try one plain. <sighs> wow. Mmm, <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh. Texture, far better than KFC. Confusing because they're both beyond, but <laughs> wow. Wow, this is taking me back. I have missed like Chinese chicken so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, the coating on it and everything. All right, this is pretty bomb. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not perfect. It could be better for sure. But guys, this is hitting the mall chicken. It's so saucy. Bitch. The texture of like the skin or like the little coating. You know, because it looks like they fried them and then like got them in the sauce and the sauce kind of turned the crispy into like a chewy. You know what I mean? Hold on, let me take a bite. Let's see what the inside looks like. Looks like every other vegan chicken nugget. This is like really hitting. <laughs> Again, it's not perfect, it's not amazing. <laughs> so Chris orders P.F. Chang's a lot and when I order with him, I always just get the boring little tofu vegetable bowl. And he'll get a little P.F. Chang's chicken kind of thing similar to this and I'm always so jealous. And this is just like, absolutely hitting that spot. I don't know how many times I have to say it's hitting the spot, <laughs> but the texture, I love it. Well, well. 
<laughs> I love parts of it. Wow, okay, good to know. It definitely could be better, I will say that. Will I drive all the way down to Hollywood for this ever again? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. I like it a lot better than KFC's, I will say. Oh, a fortune cookie. Oh my gosh, fun, let's open it. What's my fortune? Oh, okay. My fortune, I guess, is a car vacuum after this. <laughs> All right. You are in the company of exceptional friends. Enjoy. That's what it says. Bitch, where? <laughs> I am alone in my car sweating in Hollywood <laughs> with various fried fast food items around me. <laughs> there were no lucky numbers on the fortune. That's so interesting. I feel like there's always numbers, but go off. We love Panda Express not promoting gambling. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Easy eight out of 10. All right. I need to put that away. I'm eating too much, too fast. I'll save you for later tonight. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am running out of national fast food chains that offer vegan chicken. I was really counting on El Pollo Loco having that chicken still available to sort of complete this video. So now I thought I'd try a local place. You know, the fast food vegan options are fun, but frankly, they're never the best. I live in Los Angeles. There are far better places to go for vegan food than KFC and Panda Express. <laughs> and since I'm in Hollywood, I thought I would stop at a special little place called Doomies. I have not been here in a couple years and I will say I'm not sure if I've ever been here sober. <laughs> it's this little vegan shop here in Hollywood and on Fridays and Saturdays they're open 24 hours. So I think the first time I had this was like after a party at like 2 a.m. <laughs> and I remember just being blown away. They have a full menu and also they have like a Mexican spin-off. I remember their chicken being so fucking good. So I thought it would be fun to try that and see how it compares to these national chains. All right, let's Let's go. It's right across the street. All right, I'm here outside and I'm placing my order. I'm so excited. I remember this shit being so good. All right, they truly have so many offerings. You know, you can get different kinds of chicken sandwiches. You can get just like a two piece fried chicken meal, one leg piece and one breast piece. Interesting. Don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> However, they also have chicken fingers. And so I'm just gonna get that because that sounds, sounds delicious. Alrighty. Now we wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been here in so long. Alrighty, my order is ready. I have picked it up. We have received the goods. F for fingers. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, here they are. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I thought these would be different. I thought by chicken fingers, they'd be sort of more like a long, bigger, more like crunchy or bready type of thing. Whereas this just kind of looks like a basic thing. Oh, but I still bet it's gonna be better than anything else we'll have today. I mean, y'all, this crisp, like, wow. That bitch crispy. Yeah, I thought this would look more like their chicken sandwiches, but whatever. I bet it's gonna be amazing. All right, we got some vegan ranch here. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh my God, bitch. Mm, that is so good. This is the texture we're working with. Very good. Okay, I do, I am wishing I got the chicken sandwich. These are feeling a little more basic than I remember their chicken sandwich being, but still very delicious. Definitely prefer this to the KFC. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. I feel so gross and greasy. <laughs> All right, shit. I really should have gotten the sandwich or like the breast or wing. <laughs> I remember leaving this place with like the craziest impression of their chicken. But wow, definitely give this. My camera died. Whoopsie. <laughs> Neither me or my battery were anticipating that Hollywood trip. My battery had enough of Hollywood. She checked out. Anyways, yes, it is later. And by later, I mean the next day. <laughs> by the time I was home and my battery was charged, it was pitch black. But yes, I still have her. One left. Let's do a cold taste test. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Delicious. Guys, I feel like this video kind of flopped. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I was really counting on El Pollo Loco still having that chicken option. You know, I thought those four would create a nice, you know, complete video. <laughs> but now having only tried three, I feel like I have failed the video concept. <laughs> Not sure what else I can fit into this fast food vegan chicken taste test as there are no more fast food vegan chickens to taste. <laughs> oh, did I rate this? I'm gonna rate this like nine out of 10. Both when it was hot and currently because but still good. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well guys, yeah, I guess that's the end of this video, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like this is an incomplete video. I feel bad. Because in most of these, I've done like four to five. I hope you enjoyed our journey nonetheless. These videos are always fun to make. You know, love chilling out with you guys in our good old friend Blue Ivy. But yep, there we have it. Fast food, vegan, chicken offerings in January 2022. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> they're pretty good but also just kind of like, eh, I would like more. You know, Taco Bell, I don't think it was in America, but somewhere they tested like this little vegan chicken taco thing. Why didn't we get that? I would like to try that. But yep, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun. I sure did. Also guys, don't forget, if you want to save some money while online shopping, make sure to download Karma with the link in my description. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.